I'm your wonder host, Roy Tabamogina. And this is my co wonder host, Sarah Slusson. Hi, Roy. How have you been doing? I've been doing great, staying at home and getting big. How about you, Sarah? I've seen that you changed your hairstyle. Did it get shorter? I'm glad you noticed. I actually shaved my head. I got tired of putting mayo on it every week. Nice big head reference. Speaking of shaved heads, everyone has their own way of adjusting and coping with friends. Here's a compilation of how people pass time during the pandemic. aren't really bothered and seem to be having lots of fun. I wonder what that's like. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, we would like to show you some videos we received from our essential workers and students. I hope you guys enjoy them. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Lexter and play of Northern Mindanao Medical Center. I work as a doctor and is one of the many frontliners working hard during this pandemic. Every day, we encounter a lot of new cases and deaths. Us doctors have been doing our best helping people recover. It's been quite a challenge. However, I believe that after every storm comes a rainbow. I am one front, proud frontliner who will tell other co-frontliners to keep going because this pandemic will come to an end very soon. May God bless us all. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kevin Kang. I'm studying at Nanari International School. Since COVID-19 cases, have increased over time. We are no longer allowed to go to school, so instead, we are only having our class in online. The hardest part is having classes online because many things like internet are distracting me while I'm having a class. And also, if internet cut off, I can't follow the class properly. Also, since we can't go to school, I feel like I'm getting estranged from my friends. I know everyone is having a hard time, but since this situation is already here, I believe that everyone should help each other pray to overcome this pandemic. I believe that after this situation, we are all going to have the best of our lives. So to all frontliners, please don't give up and wish you strength to fight the battle with an unseen enemy. Thank you so much for spending your time to watch my video and good luck and God bless. Hi everyone, I am Alia Di Malaco, an 11th grade student of Nunnery International School. I would like to acknowledge all our health authorities, military, police personnel, um, journalists, teachers, food delivery drivers, garbage collectors, government employees, and all the rest that I have to mention. For they are the ones who choose to be in the front lines. I salute them for their relentless hard work an undying desire of not giving up for the nation. In today's trying times, they are our heroes. You know what? For years, we were made to believe that heroes are those who possess supernatural powers. However, today, as our nation grapples with threats of a COVID-19, we realize that being a hero does not necessarily mean having superpowers. In these trying times, we realize that our heroes no longer wear capes, but rather personal protective equipment and lab suits are what they wear. Our modern day heroes are 
those who choose to work despite the danger of the pandemic, those who continue to serve the Filipino nation. Your safety is always in our prayers. May God bless you tenfold for all your courageous, wonderful deeds. Young name from the Nagami International School. As of now, the medical staff for fighting over the how to treat the coronavirus. I thank you, all of your self at At the front line for always fighting corona. We can have a great call for your fight. Let's try to beat corona together. Even if not just the medical staff for fighting fight in the front line, hope is always on our side. Thank you and thank you for the fighting like this. I am cheering for you. Thank you. Mark Raven Marte. I'm working in New York Police Department as a police. I am assigned to guard all the townspeople who are the most likely to violate city ordinances that are given in this time of pandemic, like the stay at home ordinance. Given the task, I knew it would be stressful and I was right. It's really stressful, but nevertheless, my stress and tiresome duty is nothing to me when I realize I am contributing to the society's good and even more motivated when I think of it. if I keep going the chances of all flooding curve will increase. I am so proud to say that I am frontliner in this time of pandemic and I guard people for a better progress of lessening the increase of cases. Wear your face mask on wash your hands and make this infection as part of daily progression. God bless. Hello everyone! I'm Janice and I'm Lily. We are both currently working as nurses at Samsung Star Hospital. We work in a hospital that mainly cares for corona patients as we always make sure to wear masks, gloves, goggles, or the personal protective equipment. Fighting this COVID-19 is so frustrating, hard, and scary. But this fight is not lonely because we know that there are many medical staff working together all over the country. Right here, we have a point here, Jenna. Although we do not know when this fight against COVID-19 will end, we are confident that we will win. But everyone keeps the safety rules and works together in one accord. Everyone, please shut up, because we know that it might be stormy right now, but the rain does not last forever. We have a beautiful future waiting for us. We hope that the day will come soon when we can celebrate our victory of the defeat of the virus. Am I right, Jenna? Indeed, Ellie. Let's overcome this together. We stay at work for you. You stay at home for us. May God bless each and every one of us. Hi, I'm Johan of the Nor International School. I'm working as an online teacher and I must say, it is a tough job because some students are just not comfortable with having their class virtual. It's not easy but I will still continue because my students' future keeps me motivated all the time. I'm proud to say that I'm working hard even if it's risky to interact with my fellow workers just to contribute to their better tomorrow. To the rest of our teachers who are like me, I salute you. You still keep going even it was never easy from the start. May God bless us all. Those videos were very motivational, weren't they? I'd like to say, at the beginning of this pandemic, I was quite terrified. But somehow, I got the feeling that we would be able to push through this together and become united as friends. I remember when it started, we were just about to graduate. We were finishing up our requirements only to find out that there wasn't going to be a graduation. Yeah, that was quite important. However, I really believe that everything happens for a reason, and once all this is over, which is soon, we will all come out of this as new people learning from what we experienced the last couple of months. Hopefully this pandemic has taught us to be a better people and has shown us to be responsible for our mistakes. And let us not forget, time is very precious. Please stay at home. Wear a mask if you have to go out. Spend time with your loved ones while you still can. Or don't, we can't tell you what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It was lovely to have you this year. See you next year or not. <laughs> I'm <laughs>